Hello everyone, I'm Mari. Just when I think the warm weather has finally arrived, the temperature drops again. There are a lot of days like that. But how are you doing? Today, I stretched my legs a little and went on an excursion to Nagano. I'm in the vicinity of Sakurai Kanseido, a chestnut confectionery shop in Obuse. Since it is a famous store that has been around for a long time, the history of chestnut sweets and the tools used to make them are on display. The chestnuts themselves are large and the sweets are very sweet. This shop seems to be another chestnut confectionery shop. It's a wonderful store. There was a Japanese garden at the corner of that shop. It's still cold now, so the moss growing is yellow or brown. But when it gets warmer, it's covered in green and has a strong presence. I cannot wait for spring because the flowers haven't bloomed yet. This is a cafe called Chestnut Tree Terrace. Sakurai Kanseido, the chestnut confectionery store I mentioned earlier, is running this cafe. I first learned about this cafe through a magazine article. Sakurai Kanseido, the main store, specializes in Japanese sweets but this is a western style chestnut sweet. All of them look really delicious. There is also coffee in the shop, but it seems that they are focusing on tea. I like decaf, but as a tea person, I'm happy. The magazine article featured Mont Blanc, the store's flagship product. There are other cakes, but I ate Mont Blanc with plenty of chestnut cream. It is hard to leave without drinking fragrant tea. The interior of the store is furnished with classic European style furniture and you can relax. It might be more fun to come with someone than to come alone like me. Well, it looks like I've done quite a bit of advertising for the Chestnut Tree Terrace, so let's get into the theme on this time. The town of Obuse seems to have been around for a long time, so there are many famous shops. This is a liqueur store. There seems to be a mixture of old and new shops on the same street.
There is a temple called Ganshuin, a little farther by car from here. So I will move there. Although I'm a Christian, I often visit temples and shrines. I especially like Kyoto, so until a few years ago, I used to go there every year and visit temples. Temples and shrines have different religions. But I think that they are buildings that match the climate of Japan. This is the entrance of Ganshoin. The weather was rainy, but I managed to take a video. There is also a pond at the entrance. Which is well maintained. When you go inside, there are stuff, but it was more like a museum than a temple. There was still snow around the temple, and there was no heating inside, so it was cold. In the central room of the main building, there was a famous Katsushika Hokusai's Hapo Nirami Phoenix. It is said that the eyes of the phoenix are drawn in such a way that you can see them staring at you from any angle. I was sitting in the back, but I could see that it was staring at me. The drawing of 21 tatami mats was so beautiful that I couldn't believe it was a work of Hokusai, who was 89 old at that time. In addition to Hokusai, the haiku poet Kobayashi Isa was also associated with this area. In the pond of the temple, male toads fought each other to seize female toads for breeding. And there was a skinny frog struggling in it. Seeing that Isa composed a haiku, You think frog, don't lose. I, Isa, is here. This phrase is too famous, but it seems to have another meaning. It seems that he got married with an age gap. I heard that his wife was more than 20 years younger than him. Also, the child was born sickly, so he died when he was an infant. According to the temple staff, His wife also died young. I don't know what happened to Isa, who lost both his child and his wife. But his earnest thoughts are conveyed from haiku poems. We may grow old and live alone someday. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you are lonely. You cannot see it, but God is with you. Can a woman forget her breast child and she will not pity her womb? Even she forgets, I will never forget you. Isaiah chapter 49, verses 
15 to 16. I pray that you may have a peaceful day today as well. Thank you for watching. Please visit the next issue of Mali's Life in Japan.